hey there it's I run here and we are back on American Truck Simulator and I just want to share with you some multiplayer uh, facts so I was actually playing farming simulator last week on the PS4 with my buddy killer Psyduck and he also has American Truck Simulator and he told me they indeed have multiplayer I was mentioning that in the last video how cool it would be able to do that uh, I was hoping to get him on here today uh, but we haven't been able to connect yet uh, you'll see that I actually have two different game files. These are my actual, this is my actual single player and this is my multiplayer and it's kind of recommended that you do have a separate one. But hey, let's jump on in and we'll discuss it a little bit more and go from there and I'll tell you a little bit about the truck, the uh, multiplayer for American Truck Simulator. All right, so as we log into the game here, this is also made by the same people that made European Truck Simulator. And uh, when you download it, um, I'll have it up here just for a second right. here. It's truckersmp.com. I'll have that down in the description below. You download the client. Uh, it does update occasionally, and you go from there. Uh, when I first did it, they had basically uh, two European servers. Now they have an American server. And there's also another one called Convoy. Right. So uh, one thing that I did is I've actually bought my own truck. Uh, it's really helpful in the multiplayer game type because you want to be able to free roam. Matter of fact, if you want to hook up with one of your friends, you may uh, drive to the same area as they are because, uh, you know, if you wanted to do a mission with them, you can't really do it with them. You can do it kind of alongside them. They'll be running at the same time, but you guys can drive together. So let's go ahead and go into the job market and we want to earn some money with a freight job. Uh, right now we are located in Eli, Nevada. Um, I'm actually, uh, my home base is Elko in this particular multiplayer as opposed to Fresno over here in the single player. If you click on the dot, it'll actually only bring up the particular uh, jobs that are in that particular area so you can see I can do one from here to jackpot I can do one from Eli to uh, back to Elko so let's just pick one um, you can also see that the uh, price of the jobs are higher now because I'm running my own rig but I have my own maintenance and stuff as well let's take this one here it's a pretty straight shot uh, I may come in and out a little bit um, and let you know so we'll set it as our GPS destination uh, when you do it it'll actually show you where you have to go because you actually have to go and pick up uh, so we're gonna have to go follow the map so let's go All right, so a couple of things about uh, multiplayer mode. Um, the only traffic, like if you see that little blue dot in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen there, my navigation, that's another truck, another player. There are no uh, AIs in this particular one. So you are merely playing with other players. Um, you still can get uh, damage to your vehicles. Um, you do not have to worry about uh, getting pulled over for speeding in multiplayer, but there are other things. You still get ticketed for running a red light, stop sign, and I also found the other night, uh, if you look, uh, see I got my lights running here. I didn't have my lights running at night, and I got a ticket in the game for not having my lights running at night. So that is some of the uh, kind of the uh, things that you still deal with, but you... you Pulling out in the traffic is a lot easier. Like I said, this is a multiplayer uh, server, so all these other guys are multiplayer. Um, and also, once you get in, once you're out here, there's still hit damage, like if I ran into them. But uh, once we get inside there, because you may be picking up the same loads as one of the other ones, um, you don't or you won't get any damage. Uh, for running in. I believe it starts once they hit that area too so basically we can all go in together. So let me see is that my load there? Press enter
All right, so I got to take this job. Now I got to go pick up my load. Where is it? Now usually these modes, these uh, areas here are damage free uh, m areas. Oh there it is. Wow, it's way back here. Did I come around the wrong side? I did. <laughs> Alright, let me back it up here. I could have done it easily the other way, but we can go right through here and pick it up. Uh, so if you've been watching or you've been playing this, uh, you know, tell me what you think about it so far. I'm actually really enjoying it. I was glad to find out that John, uh, aka Killer Psyduck, also was playing it. Uh, he's actually been playing it for a lot longer, so he's been uh, giving me some tips and advice like, Hey, you should back up better. <laughs> All right. Why do I feel like um, I was supposed to pick that up the other way? All right. Well, if it is, I'll cut out here and we'll be right back. Alright, nope, this was the way. Had me kind of fooled there for a minute. Alright, so let's uh, let's get this on the way. Uh, and we'll chat a little bit more about the game in and of itself. And I'll show you just uh, some little things. I did start using the mirrors up in my upper right and left corner. You can toggle those uh, by pressing F2. Just by hitting F2 I get the different mirrors come along. Uh, it's really helpful when you're in your first person view and it's a lot obviously more quiet here however a lot of times when I'm pulling out I like to see where I'm going this way and again the only thing that I'm really looking for is I'm not even sure if you have to stop for stop signs uh, John will probably comment and let me know um, but I do know if you run a red light, and we may just do it. We may just run a red light. Um, I'll go ahead and turn my lights off because it's daytime. I should probably turn my blinkers off too. Am I running flashers? My emergencies? Uh, I'm running my emergencies. Hold on. Let's see what that is. So see, you do have to... Uh, you have to stop your car in order to get into it so let's just look for emergency lights which I've obviously turned them on hazard lights F okay there you go and turn that off alright alright we're good to go now see this guy he wasn't sure well he 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 had a red light or I have a red light now I'm not sure what he's doing but since I'm not, I can't hit him. I'll just go ahead and run this red light. So see, you do still get that. Um, yeah, yeah. My son always says you're a horrible driver. Actually, I, I get better, but I haven't been on this for a few days, and I find that the more you play it, the better off you're at. Uh, the other thing too that you may want to know. Uh, let me just stop here. I don't think there's any coming. Um, if you go into your your game settings and in your gameplay uh, you have an, a fatigue simulation uh, if you don't want to have to stop like every 10 hours and let your guy rest or find a bed area then just uncheck that and save that so I may just go ahead and cut out here um, as we get along get further along I don't know I might we'll we'll uh, we'll ride a little bit I do love the graphics I mean look look at that and oh by the way if you didn't know they they are coming out we're, we're not going to run this red light we don't want another ticket because that takes away from your money at the end um, 
They are coming out with Arizona DLC pretty soon. That's also going to be a free DLC. I'm pretty sure that sooner or later they're probably going to start, uh, you know, charging us from extra states. I don't know otherwise how they could uh, continue to add stuff without uh, re recouping. Um, you know, I, I also am curious. By the way, um, just so you'll know, it's it's actually easier to drive and stay safe, stay straight, or at least it seems that way. When, oh, all right, he ran a red light. You hope you got a ticket. Actually, um, see, look at that guy. Well, I guess he didn't want to hit. So, uh, yeah. I think if you're actually into the area, I wonder if he got a ticket for that because he kind of cut the corner and failed to detect it. Um, if you're already into the area, I found that and it turned red. I didn't get a light, uh, a ticket, a light. I didn't get a light. Yeah, I didn't get a light. I didn't get a ticket either. If I was already into the intersection by the time it turned red. Uh, so uh, if your experience is different, let me know. Fortunately, there's nobody behind me yet. But if there was, I'd be in the wrong lane because... Really? Obviously, they don't know how to drive. They did not have a turn signal. Newbie drivers. Alright, so... It says it's 30 through here. So I'm going to try to test the theory out. Let's see if I can get it up above 30. You usually don't get it if you're up at like 5 over, but if you get like way over. So right now I'm at 35, 36. Well, I'll just switch to 70. So um, I'll tell you what, I'll get going here, and if I find once I get up to speed and I get over 70, if I get a ticket, I'll be back. Or I'll be back regardless. We'll see how it goes. Oh. And they have these things here. So occasionally, randomly, you have to stop. And you really do have to stop. Um, John had told me that he'd gone across before. And if you break it, they, the trains will hit you and throw you. I don't know if you get a ticket for it, but you would get damage. And it probably would ruin your delivery altogether. All right, let me see if I can get up over 70. Maybe I can get up to about 80 or not. I don't know. Maybe I have this governor on here to where I won't be able to go that fast, but we'll try and see. Um, also, it helps that as you uh, play the game and do upgrades that... Oh, look. Hey. A jet. Are we near Area 52? Where all the secret spy stuff goes on? Um as you upgrade your vehicles you can get bigger engines and stuff so that will actually help you go faster and all that good kind of stuff and carry heavier loads let's hope this guy can maintain so that is one of the things in the multiplayer is pretty much in uh, regular single player the AI, they're not gonna they're not gonna run into you. They're not gonna just hit you randomly. But that guy speeding along, he could have, you know, lost control of his vehicle, come into my lane and plowed me over. Alright, so let me get it going along here and I'll tell you what, depending on how things go, we'll be right back. Alright. It just went back down to uh 35 miles an hour and I'm still going 57 so there you go no speeding ticket any other time in single player mode that would have been a speeding ticket so if you're wondering if you can wreck a vehicle in this game you can uh, one of the very first times I was playing uh, I actually overturned my vehicle uh, that's why it kinda makes me a little bit uncomfortable in this view because I cannot always see exactly where I'm going alright so I'm coming up on jackpot here so I need to slow down 
And it also could be possibly because of the fact that uh, I've played Farming Simulator for so much that I'm actually more used to driving the vehicles from up here because I have a better idea on uh, where they're going and stuff. Alright, so we're almost here to drop off our delivery. Uh, it is really basically the same as in, um, you know, single player. The only difference is, is when you own your own truck, uh, again, you can free roam. I don't have to take a job. I could drive it anywhere I want to go without a load. It would just be me in the cab. Uh, and also when you go to uh, pick up, as you saw it, I had to set my GPS location to the place to go get the job to pick up the freight. Once I got there, then I had to take the job as opposed to if you're working for somebody else you just it just automatically teleports you to where um, you know you're doing the job and uh, yeah that's pretty much some of the main differences and the fact that you don't have to worry about uh, speeding tickets or the police uh, and and the AI so obviously it's a lot easier especially when you're going from a main town uh, into onto the interstate as far as merging traffic you don't have all the this traffic that you have to deal with uh, some servers are more busy than other ones this one is the, again the American server which just came out this week uh, with the latest update um, so I'm playing on that and um, there was only 400 people on uh, there was a couple of thousand people on the European servers uh, by the way, it was European servers, but it was still American Truck Simulator. So, uh, anyway, um, let's go ahead and drop this off. This is real similar to the rest. So you get here, you press enter, and you tell it what you want to do. Do you want to back it up, or you just want to pull forward? So I'm just going to pull forward, because it's going to be like right over here. That'll give me a little bit more XP. Uh, when we're done, you'll obviously see that it deducted... Uh, money from my uh, account for the uh, traffic ticket for running the red light so just don't do that alright uh, back up just a little bit alright so let's press T disconnect our trailer and there we go so not too bad oh I guess it already uh, took out my traffic ticket from my bank account now one thing I did have to borrow money for the bank I don't know exactly how to pay it back now if it automatically uh, takes that money and deducts it from my amount or what the deal is but uh, if you know leave that in the comments below I hope you enjoyed if you're playing let me know if you're playing multiplayer let me know and uh, don't forget to comment like and subscribe so until next time this is I run and we'll see ya